on the last episode of Final Fantasy 3, some stuff kind of happened. Well, we, we turned to Mini and we went to a mini cave. Put Chap up front again. And we learned up all about the magic classes, mainly the white and the black mage. They're pretty good, but kind of have to turn into them when you're small and can't attack. But we are outside that area where we saw that ship before, and there's a cave here, so... Hmm... Let's go in. I'm actually gonna keep everyone as mages for now. Ooh, a viking base, holy crap. I just accidentally walked out. <laughs> a viking base, holy crap. Walks out instantly. Alright. Now, this area, I think... Oh, Jesus, the weird sleeping animation again. Why? This area, if I remember... Oh. Where are the Vikings? Lord of the Sea. Well, actually, we have a problem. After the quake, the sea dragon went berserk and destroyed our ships. Oh, jeez. Why do we have to keep running in the dragons? Only the Enterprise. <laughs> you know, that's kind of ironic considering where we are in the game uh, to boldly go. Uh, we're technically in the sky right now, so... Little spoiler, but <laughs> where's Spock? I'm gonna call one of these guys Spock. <laughs> Move. There's a treasure chest I want to access. You have to go down and around here to get it. If you go straight through here, you can't get it. Oh no, he's blocking me. What do you say? Are you Spock? Viking? I can't say. What can I do but drink? Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna answer that. Even if the boss doesn't know what to do, we're no match for the sea dragon. Building on the cape is the Nepto Shrine. Old man should know a lot about it. Cool. And a Tweja. <laughs> I'll just stay in bed. He's in spots better than drinking. I, I wager. Ooh, a red mage. <gasps> he sells magic that we already have. Ooh, uh, we're actually gonna get one more bolt. Oops, nope. And we're going to give that bolt to probably Danny. Oh, it's way down here. Am I running out of spot? Yeah, I'm getting low on space here. So, hopefully this guy sells items. Yes, alright, we're gonna sell some stuff, like right now. I have, like, everything unequipped. Well, we'll sell the white slayer, finally. Sell the staff, sell the iron arrows, I don't want a bow, sorry, I'm not a fan of bows in this game. Hey, wait, where did we get- oh, I got cure 2 from that chest. We will give that to... First, we're gonna give cure to Danny, and then we're gonna give cure 2 to a chap, who I think should be able to use it, let's see. Yep, two charges. Awesome. Let's go back to selling crap. Actually gonna sell this sleep and blind. Sorry, sleep and the fire. Don't need the fire. There, now we have room. And you don't sell anything different? No, sir. I'm actually going to get ten more potions just in case crap gets hairy. Cause I mean there's a dragon. And we are going to restore MP watch so you talk to her and it just automatically walks you to the bed. And we're facing Dash. And it's kinda creepy, I'm not gonna lie. Slept well. HP and MP restored. Oh, by the way, if you revive someone who died while they were poisoned, they come back alive while poisoned. What are these cannonballs? Coconuts? We may never know. But I'm pretty sure there's some secret paths around here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh. What's in here? Oh, I think these are the three spells. Ice two. Fire two. Bolt two. It's crazy to fight without magic. Is midgets kill with black magic? Yeah, Dash tells you about what to do. Alright, so we're gonna give one of the each to every- all the mages. Ice two to Mev. Bolt two to Umbri. And fire two to Danny. Okay. Uh, little hint with this secret passage. You can go straight down, but it you can't get there. It's another trick. This game's tricky. And then we go down here, and there's... 
there's someone in here? I'm not hiding. I'm just waiting for the old man to come up. Okay. Uh, this guy actually, they did well. They make it- Oh my gosh, he's following me. There's the, the secret path is huge and wide in there, so... Old man. Very- I'm the very oldest of the Vikings. Somehow I stayed alive, even though Vikings are known for, like, constantly fighting. Yeah, the Nepto Shrine is where the dragon Nepto used to sleep, and something happens to see Earthquake, and the dragon went mad. You found Gil. You found Gil. Ooh, that's revivification. Guess what? We don't need that. <laughs> that should be all the secrets in here. Excuse me, sir. Let me get out of here. I wonder if this inspired the, the Viking area of Final Fantasy V. It's hopeless we'll never beat the dragon. If you register for the Sea Dragon, you can have the Enterprise! Oh my gosh, did we get Spock and Kirk and Bones and all everyone else too? Perhaps Data and Jordy? Perhaps seven oh whatever. I don't know what generation we're on. You should be sailing. You should go past Oh yeah. Let me actually show this off. First of all, whee! that's not how a cannonball would fire, but that's how I fire it. Let's go in here. Alright, so. Get on this boat. Let's just save the state real quick. If you go past this area, Nepto attacks. And Nepto looks like someone told him a funny joke while he was high. Uh, I'm just gonna show you what happens. I'm not, I'm not even gonna use magic. We're just gonna sit back and... Nepto... Oh wow, he missed. Yeah. I actually don't think you can hit this guy. I remember I thought this is what I had to do because I didn't talk to people because I'm smart. There we go, we'll, we'll use magic because I, I don't need to save the MP because, yeah. Oops. You can hit him. And you're doing decent damage. Yeah, maybe we can actually kill Nepto. Yeah. No. I'm just gonna say it right now. You cannot kill him. I think he actually uses like a tidal wave attack later. One. One. Oh, miss. I'm in the back row. We discussed that. Yeah, but I'm not gonna- you can't beat him. He has like unlimited HP, so we're gonna go back here and I think that's where that was. Here's the Nepto Shrine. And you go in here and you're like, okay, this is the shrine. There's a dragon head. You have Nepto. Actually, it kind of didn't look like a moment. One of the eyes is missing, and there's a small hole in beyond. What if we could get in if we became tiny? Hint, hint. And we do. Oops, I thought I selected magic. <laughs> I thought Nepto was gonna ruin me. That would have been fun, but he didn't ruin me. Alright. Alright, we're all tiny. Let's go. And through the hole where the dragon's eye used to be. Uh, this area, uh, once again, as far as I know, no secret passages, and it is longer than the other hallway. Uh, there's, a there's enemies, but uh, there's also a boss, so be careful. Now we have to remember which hole to go down. Hmm. Let me think, yeah. I think I go to the left. Oh wait, these are just stairs, why am I worrying? Carapace. That's, uh, Carapace and Carapace, that's sort of light armor for the monk class of our first Nepto enemies. Oh my gosh, this would be terrifying if you saw this as a tiny thing. Oh, I'm gonna pee my pants. Okay, um, bloodworms are- oh, little biology effect. Blood- oh, blood- yeah, bloodworm. We'll call them bloodworm. Blood ticks. Blood spiders. I call them- I think they are actually arachnids. But they be tiny, tiny. You can sometimes see them moving around if you look, like on cement or something, just tiny little red dots. They are actually extremely dangerous if you are tiny. Uh, mainly a baby of some sort where you don't have the defense or the movement or any ability to really get rid of them. They are very, very 
very dangerous uh, for baby mammals that are small. So anything squirrel cat, anything, you know, that isn't like an elephant or a human. I'm pretty sure blood spiders could uh, kill a human baby. Okay, we got dark here. We got dark. I will stop being dark. Look at how terrifying they are, though. is a bloodworm that's a leech, but mm, maybe a lamprey. Ah, uh, the fun part of the animal kingdom. Alright, now you go right. I'm not sure why this is all back behind here, but whatever. Ah! Please don't be 20 bloodworms. Oh my gosh, they're little bats! I don't want to kill little bats. I'm sorry, bats. Yeah, if you can't tell by my pseudonym, and, uh, well, astronauts, and, uh, my icon on YouTube. I love bats, they're adorable. It's got little one pixel pink, uh, fangs. So cute. Now we have to burn them with fire. Bats would be pretty terrifying, too, if you were really tiny. Gotta, gotta say that. I'm saving my big spells because I'm pretty sure there's a boss at the end of this, if I recall. Yeah. Oh, I could've used Aerio. Oh, well. I don't know why these chests are huge. Serpent! I think that's another uh, red mage only, though. You know, we're done with the red mage. No offense to the red mage. You will live on as people play Final Fantasy 1 for the first time since the red mage is really good in that game. What the crap? Pootie? Is that what were they seriously called? Pootie? They are called Pootie. Alright, game. Ariel's gonna do not a lot here. But, I mean, it's a magic attack. Eh, that's a decent. Oh no, the Pooties. Oh my gosh. I don't like Pooties. Yeah, okay, good. They don't have that much HP. This might be enough. Maybe. Yes, excellent. Little pixel dance. Alright. Uh oh. Wow, that. It looks like, uh. The mouse from Mario 2. I can't remember his name, and that's making me angry. <laughs> Fight him twice, I think. Oh, what is his name? Oh, whatever. We're gonna kick his butt. Squeak. I will give you this. I will give this chat to anyone. Squeak. Big rat. It's actually not. It doesn't look that big. We're gonna kill him with all of our max level two spells that we got in the secret Viking area. Bam. Here we go. The trifecta. We just met Tritok, and he's angry. Oh, even if your skills do nothing, like you can see, I cured zero. Oh yeah, floosh. It's you still get uh, a skill up. I think it doesn't unless it misses. Oh, I guess he's weak to fire. We'll just fire him. Then. Everybody use fire except Danny, who knows fire too. Oh yeah. Rat, it's purple. Oh, that did like no damage. Never mind. Maybe this will finish him off. Nope. It's just me or his front legs look really weird up this rat. Oh my gosh, he used fire too. Oh my gosh, that was terrifying. He just did, like Alright, let's go back to the level two spells. I am scared and uh, we'll have Chap use cure two on Umber because holy crap holy Desperation round. Whoosh. Come on, rat. 
you're a rat and we're hitting you with magic spells. This can't be that bad. Bam, cure too. Please, rat. Yeah, there we go. 100 gil, 7 capacity spirit points. Yay, we obtained Nepto's eye, which I thought it was green. We... Oh, yeah, so. Uh, unlike the other midget area, they make you walk back. And there's no magical ring that does teleports to teleport you. So hopefully we're on a run and everything. But we don't have to look for treasure, so... What does Dash have to say? We will never know because... Oh, bats! Why did I attack normally? Now we can use Aerial. I'm pretty sure poison bats also poison you. I'm just I'm taking a wild guess. Hopefully they won't hear, but... Always fix that. Alright. Oh yeah, they're dead. Aereo. Fart, fart, fart. Stink bomb. Finish him off with a fire, Danny. Oh, it only killed one. I mentioned that there are also dungeons where you have to turn into a frog to get there, and as a frog you can't do anything. So you, you just run. You run. You run- oh my gosh. They're like little fuzzy Lilliput. They're little fuzzy dudes. That's cute. We're gonna cure. Nope, I messed up there. But whatever. I don't know if fire is gonna be green, because they look like mini fire dudes, but here no, they can cast magic. Hopefully one more round. Yeah, I accidentally only cured Mev. My bad. Oh, please, please get rid of them. No. Bolt, save us! No, not your bolt. Grr. I like when uh, a bunch of enemies die. It does that like, cool wipe effect. Two capacity. And, ooh, level up time. Alright, let's get the crap out of here. At least this music is a lot more ominous. Because the other uh, area was like, dee 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 dee, is all happy. Okay, because these guys can cast magic, I'm gonna cast Cure 2 on the whole party just in case crap goes down. we go. Eat my midget magic, my tiny sprint magic. Ah, this is why we cast Cure too. Hopefully it will get off before Chap gets burned asunder. Oh, thank you. Oh yes, Cure too. Ah, oh, delicious HPs. This game's gonna give me a heart attack. Alright, we need to, uh, potion up here. Because Chap deserves to live. We're almost out of here, though, but just in case the game decides to be like, hey, alright. You must return the eye to the sea dragon that we do. Do I have to, like, are we supposed to put Nepto's eye? Alright, hold on. I think we have to be big for this. But... Okay, good. We have one more charge of mini. Chap, save us. You must return to eye. Yes, can I... Oh, wait. I think I have to use it as an item. Oh. Do I have it? I do not... Oh, yeah, I... Nepto's eye in the socket. Da, 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 da. I'm the sea dragon Nepto. I thank you for returning the gem to me. This gem is my mind. Without it, I'm merely an animal and I begin to go wild. Here, take this. The water fang. It will smash what blocks your way with the power of water. Yay! 
water has lost some of its light. Someone has caused an earthquake and sealed the light underground. Please, bring back the light. The secret dragon Nepto fell into a deep sleep, and he probably murdered so many people. Alright, well, that was exciting. What do you have to say? Oh, nope, I can't talk to him on the world map. Let's go back to the Vikings and talk to Desh. Yeah, we got a ship, now we can search for all the beautiful women all over the world. Hey, hey, I get it. Let's fire the cannon in victory. Oh, I can only fire it once. Aww. Can I sleep here? Wasn't there like a remember vacation thing? Um, I think through here. Or a bed or something. Vikings, they have cannonballs. I think this is just revivification. We'll, we'll check it though. Yeah, it might just be. Boop. Yep, that's not gonna do anything. I should be able to find a bed. I remember right, the king of our secret airships. Alright. You heard that from Sid before. What does the old guy say now that I saved the thing? Thank you, youngsters. The sea dragon Nipto is finally calmed down. We're gonna get that Enterprise, guys. Get out of my way. This bed? Nope. Awesome! You guys are real heroes! I... As I promised. The Enterprise is now yours. Yes! Oh my god, you guys are so great! Like, oh my god. I don't think we can heal here, and that makes me nervous. I guess we could always, uh, take the ship somewhere. We'll do that. Hang on. i shank. Yeah, we can get past the cape. Oh my gosh, we ran into enemies. Oh my gosh, are you guys okay? You, you don't look okay. We're just gonna run. Ah, snail, yeah. Have, have fun with that, guys. Please run. Can I get a run run? Please run? Oh my gosh, just run. I don't really have that many magic things in I just want to heal somewhere. Why is no one running? Come on, guys. Yeah, Umbri. Saving my butt. Oh, oh so, uh, unlike in other games, you can get off anywhere with the ship, pretty much, that isn't just covered in mountains. We're gonna heal here. <sighs> Oops, sorry. I accidentally pressed the wrong button. Where's the in here? I forget. I think it's all the way over here. After we have a nice sleepy, that will be it for this part. Oh, Dash. We're not even using the bed correctly, but it's still so- I like how the candle is still lit and it does nothing. Okay, yeah, we did it! Okay, the better start. Alright, well that will be it for this version, this episode. We shall see where we can go with this mystical ship next time. Bye-bye.